All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the math puzzle crash course. We have another uh, mixed operations problem featuring the order of operations. And uh, in this mixed operations problem, we have addition, multiplication, and division. It's two plus seven times five divided by nine equals what? Uh, it's a fairly simple problem, but uh, what I'd like to do is just go ahead and uh, give some of you an opportunity to pause the video and then we'll come back and work it out together and uh, see what we get. All right, so uh, I'm trying to make this video while I have a cat uh, <laughs> wanting some attention, but we're going to work through this video. So uh, anyhow, it's uh, 2 plus 7 times 5 divided by 9 equals what? Um, well, if you remember your order of operations, multiplication and division have equal precedence and they're solved left to right. Uh, one doesn't have any more precedence over the other. You just go left to right. And if you look at this problem, in this case, you have multiplication coming before division. Uh, so that's, that's really how we solve the order of operations. Uh, now, I will have some co people complain about the obelisk, and I know there's issues with the... Uh, some interpretations in the past and how that works. And a lot of times it's it's recommended to not even use it. And I'm I'm fine with that. I'd rather see it not shown as a fraction or um or not use the obulus. I, I, I get that. Um there actually was an old interpretation back in the sixteen hundreds on the obelus where everything to the left was considered an enumerator and everything to the right in a denominator. So uh with that an old interpretation you'd actually be uh, solving 7 times 5, adding 2 to that. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is, uh, what, 37. And then you'd have 37 divided by 9, uh, because the old interpretation of the obelisk was that everything to the left of it was it considered an enumerator, which is basically the same thing as uh, putting putting parentheses or brackets around the 2 and the 5. Um, and that's really, really not interpreted that way. If you, you type it into your cell phone calculator or scientific calculator, you're going to end up with a different answer, um, really, because uh, the way that's interpreted now is that your multiplication and division have equal precedence, again, and they're solved left to right. Um, now, multiplication and division also have precedence over addition and subtraction. So as we're working through this, you basically are going to take the 7 times 5 to start with, and that, that of course, gives you 35 here on the second line. Uh, and then you have two, uh, 2 plus 35 divided by 9. Uh, now here, you, you don't add the 2 plus 5 and get 37 and divide by 9. Division still has precedence over addition. So instead of adding 2 plus 35, you got, you've got to take 35 divided by 9. Well, if you, if we're, I'm going to round out to the nearest 100s in this case, but 35 divided by 9 uh, works out to 3.89. Uh, and then if you have 2 plus 3.89, um, you're going to end up with the answer of 5.89, uh, solving it that way. Um, now, I, I know I'm going to have people who are going to come back and say, well, I learned Bodmus, and Bodmus says division must come before multiplication, or uh, there's people out there who misapply PEMDAS, and they believe multiplication always comes before division. Uh, some people even go to the extreme of believing that addition comes before subtraction just because of the order of those six letters. They see the A before the S, and they're like, well... This is some kind of a magical formula, and the magic of PEMDAS or the magic of BODMAS tells me addition comes before subtraction. Um, and all that is, is, is um, how can I, how should I say that? All of that is garbage, so it's not true. PEMDAS and BODMAS are not six letter checklists, they're not a literal checklist. Uh, multiplication and division have equal precedence, you just solve them in the order that they appear. And addition and subtraction are really the same operation. I mean, subtraction is just adding a negative number. So it doesn't even matter. When, you, when you've got addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter if you subtract first or add first uh, or any of that. So that, that doesn't matter. Um, 
So I, I will I will get that comment quite often on here, and I, I would just suggest to those people who are itching to do that, uh, you either didn't watch this video because you missed my comment I just made about it, um, or you didn't bother to look up the order of operations. Um, but again, the answer is 5.89, and uh, I hope this video has been helpful to everybody. Um, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and I hope to see you all in the next video.